The superhero standum is a dark and often dangerous place for women to dive into, as it's filled with misogynistic fans that propagate the sexist ideas many of these superheroes hold. The boys started out to be different, showing the negativity underlying the good of these idealistic characters. Unfortunately, the show garnered the same fans who completely missed the point, as they continued to direct hate towards a female superhero. Let's get into what happened, starting with what ticked off the misogynistic fans. The comic book-based shows always shed light on political matters in the U.S. by using characters like Homelander and Blue Hawk as a satirical depiction of the nation's lawmakers and heroes. Homelander's entire costume is also very similar to Captain America's, with the traditional red, white, and blues. Now, the right-wing fans of the show had been hoping that their favorite cool guy with sociopathic tendencies would be given a redemption arc, but that would completely defeat the purpose of the show. In the past, they've been used to this treatment with their villains, who've shared their tragic backstories and been forgiven by their enemies. Unfortunately, the narcissistic megalomaniac is going to stay the way he is, and now fans are uncomfortable with liking him and rooting for him. In the world of Vought, the company that backs the superheroes, these heroes are falsely painted to be the images of all that's good in society. Starlight, played by Aaron Moriarty, has always wanted to be a part of the Seven, the clan of superheroes headed by Homelander. Once she finally gets to be a part of the clique, she realizes that the good is is just a facade. Towards the end of season three, we see her leave the company after outing the sexism and racism that the superheroes indulge in. Next up, the fans shifted their hate towards Starlight. If the showrunners weren't going to do what these misogynistic trolls wanted, someone had to be the recipient of the hate directed towards them, and so they decided to make Starlight the center of their attention. It's funny that the irony of the situation has escaped some of these fans. The superheroes role in the series revolves around standing for what's right and just. She raises her voice against the sexist attitudes of the team at Vought and the heroes. She brings so many issues to the front, yet the fans attacked her in the same way she was being attacked in the show. Extending their hate for her character into the real world, the trolls started leaving negative comments on Moriarty's social media. It wasn't just about the show now. They started making personal jabs at her. They seemed to have stopped caring about the show itself and more about the Jessica Jones star appearance. The actress had gone through drastic weight loss after the previous seasons, and her costume changed to replace the plunging neckline with a sweetheart and added a skirt as well. These trolls couldn't stand to see a female superhero not be overly sexualized, and so resorted to online bullying. The comments centered on ridiculing her and shaming her for losing weight, calling her ugly, and claiming she'd gotten plastic surgery done. Of course, it became too much for the actress to tolerate and she decided to send a message to the haters. Following up, a fan-written article gave Moriarty the opening she needed. Tired of the constant barrage of hate against the innocent actress and her on-screen role, one of the better fans of the show wrote an article elaborating on the issue with fandom culture and how Aaron should be protected from these trolls. User Butcher's Canary ended up giving the true detective actress a great opening to share her thoughts on the constant hate she'd been receiving. She shared shots of the article on her Instagram along with a long caption, detailing her feelings regarding the matter. She felt silenced and dehumanized by the objectification and constant criticisms of her appearance. The reactions felt especially hurtful, given the message her character Annie was giving when it came to objectification and sexualizing the female body. Moriarty said that she worked so hard for this role and grew with her, so it hurt worse to know that half of the viewers were completely missing the point. She ended her post by acknowledging that the hate had only upped her empathy and that she'd continue to forgive those who tried to send negativity her way. She also extended her gratitude to the writer of the original article and advised the trolls to be mindful of the silent battles people go through. Even off-screen, Moriarty is channeling the goodness of Starlight's personality and bravely getting through a difficult time. Last but not least, the cast and crew had
had a message for the haters too. Erin's co-stars didn't shy away from showing support for her and sent motivational replies under her post. Anthony Starr, who plays the begrudged villain Homelander, commented, Support you and what you say here 100%. Well put. Your work on the show is and always has been stellar, and you are beautiful inside and out. Keep shining. The others joined in by letting her know that they're always rooting for her and will continue to protect her from the trolls. At least the boys got her back in real life. When it comes to showrunner Eric Kripke, he sent a message loud and clear to the misogynist behind the trolling. He took to Twitter to cuss out those that were hurting Aaron and called them out for not understanding the actual message behind the show. He ended his tweet by asking these people to stop watching his show if they couldn't be civil about it. The original tweet included some pretty crass language, indicating that the creators had enough with the insensitive fans. We hope they get the message and back off. Otherwise, they're going to have an even worse fandom than Star Wars to deal with. We are not ending just yet. Before we reach the end of this video, we're going to talk some more about all things The Boys, especially what we can expect from the next season. First, what does Starlight's absence from the mural mean? Yes, we know the fourth season is way off in the future, but thanks to the small hints Prime Video keeps giving us, we can stay informed about what's to come in season four. Through the official Twitter account of the fictional company Vought, we found out that Starlight had been removed from the mural of the Seven that adorns the building. After the events of season three, it's become clear now that Starlight won't be a part of the superhero squad. She'd made it clear that she was tired of trying to change the system from within, and so became a public enemy of the company and the team. Now the erasure of her image stands to do some damage control on their part. They want everyone to believe that she was never a good person, and is actually a terrorist that should be ignored. The caption to the image reinforced this idea by calling her a traitor, and claiming that the work environment was being compromised in terms of friendliness and safety, all because of her presence. With all that's to come to the surface, we can't wait to see where the events of Season 4 take Starlight on her battle for truth and good. Next, a supernatural reunion in the boys' cast. Sign us up! We're getting Soldier Boy's pops on the cast of the boys in Season 4, and by Soldier Boy, we mean Jensen Ackles, and by Jensen Ackles, we mean Dean Winchester. Have you connected the dots? Jeffrey Dean Morgan has been signed on for a mysterious recurring guest role for the next season, and Supernatural fans of the show couldn't be happier. Ackles has been a part of the cast since season three, while Jim Beaver has been playing the role of politician Robert Singer since season one. J.D. Morgan's casting has been a long time coming as well. Back in 2020, he'd taken to Twitter to praise the show, and Kripke, saying that he'd joined the team in a heartbeat. Kripke was more than happy to facilitate this, and promised a deal for season three. All on Twitter, with season four on the horizon, it's high time for Morgan to join the cast, and we can't wait to see what he brings to the show. Lastly, the crew's been teasing something big. The boys is well known for its outrageously misbehaving superheroes and the resulting chaos. Visual FX supervisor Stefan Fleet took to Twitter to pique our interest just two weeks after season four began filming. Basically, the VFX heroes behind all the chaos have just promised us another insane season. The FX supervisor for the show took to his Twitter to let us in on what was happening on set. My eyes can't unsee what I just saw right now is what he tweeted. The boys' official account then retweeted it, responding, appears season four production is going well. In this twisted universe, such a vague message could mean anything, but what it means to fans is that season four is worth the wait. And that's all for this video, guys. What did you think about Aaron's call out to the haters? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.